And now, live from the studios of Freedom's Phoenix, Ernest Hancock. Turn on the tube. Get over, get over, get over, and get busy. Get busy, get busy. You know, it really is just coming down to understanding what's going on. Then you can make some decisions. You can make some informed uh, uh, action plans on what you need to do. And we're we're starting to think that way. You know, here in Arizona, a lot of uh, our friends. And we started over a year ago, and we we put chicken coops in the backyard of our central Phoenix home. I mean, you know, we're we're stockpiling some food and and uh, you know getting all regulated on our firearms and so on, and we're just getting ready. And and then you you go down to your children and you go to your grandkids and you make sure that how much food you got underneath your bed, how long can you last, how's your job doing? I, you know, this you know we're, we're going to go look for some land. Maybe we can just go camp. You know, we'll we'll just camp right here. It's our land. We just camp. You now we got we got a generator. We can last a little bit here. We got fuel there. You know, just just we just need to keep breathing in and out. How bad is it going to get? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. Now, Arizona is one of the better places except in the summer. Well, that's what the North Country is about. So, you know, if, I, if I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, support some kind of government, what would it be? Well, I, I support the, the, the line that says they're not allowed to do stuff. <laughs> this right here is part of your government document. You can't? Okay, let's do that. It'll start with the Magna Carta, and within 100 years, they kind of, you know, Rip that to shreds anyway. You know, so it's just this concept. It's always the individual versus the collective. You got all the great movies. I need to go do another round of movies. I have a lot of different cuts from different movies that I play sometimes in the show and have some fun with. I'll do that show here soon. And uh, I need to get some new cuts, some new movies. Because the blockbuster is always the individual versus the collective. That's what it always comes down to. You know, Braveheart, Gladiator, Patriot, V. Lord of the Rings, chucking the ring of power into the fires of Mordor. You know, the hobbits are libertarians, man. We don't we want to be in charge of the ring. We don't wear the ring. We don't want to be master of slaves. We just don't want to have a master over us as a slave. You now we just chuck the, the power into the fires of Mordor. Well, that's very enticing. Even Frodo's like, maybe I want to keep this ring. Maybe not. So I'm I I, I see where this goes, but Humanity marches on. I, we are evolving in just our knowledge, and I think big bad guys know that. They, that's why they gotta, they gotta trick us. They gotta propagandize us. They gotta make us a feared. Are you afraid enough? Well, if you're not, we'll give you a reason to be. Gosh darn it! You know they'll come up with something. So let's go ahead and look at just the front page of Freedom's Phoenix today. You know one article. I had uh, um, uh, my daughter, she was putting this up, and she's looking for the graphic. You know, we have, you know, different graphics that we can, you know, you just go on wherever and you find different graphics. How the government can engage in serious aggression against the people of the United States. And this is an article that was written by, uh, I think it was Naomi Wolf. And um, she's like looking for a a graph, and I'm thinking, I'm going, well, it's Civil Rights Days. I said, I tell you what, put in Civil Rights Flag Spear. Well, there was a, a classic, I think it was a Pulitzer-winning photograph of this white man with a flag. And it's you can see that it's going towards a black man that's being held by somebody. And he's going to stab him with the, the point of the flag. I mean, what a freaking perfect example of how, you know, this what what's American and, and what's not. And who's supportive of which side. It was just, it's so an, such an emotional graphic. I encourage you to go watch the video here in the uh, third segment of the second hour and it's just it's it's really graphic and it and it's something that I, I thought she should be made aware of now we'll go ahead and go to the front page of uh page of freedoms phoenix what do we have up there right now i mean this is what's i could i could do an entire show on any one of these stories well let's see judge in virginia strikes down federal health care law Richmond, Virginia, a federal judge declared the Obama administration's health care law unconstitutional Monday, siding with Virginia's attorney general in a dispute that both sides agree will ultimately be decided by the United States Supreme Court. All right. Can he make you get health care insurance? Well, it depends. You know, I mean, you know, yeah, they got a bigger gun. You know, can they? I, you know, then they will. <laughs> it's just whether they can or not. Can they? I don't know. 
then they will. So this is um, uh, what I'm, I'm thinking. And I'm getting a thumbs up from Thomas. I have no idea why in the middle of a show. Oh, uh, whatever it was. I asked him to do something. I forgot what it was. So what we're going to do is, uh, is just go through some of the headlines here is that we have, you know, uh, now it's, a, it's, it's just like the Kelo decision. Okay. We have a Kelo decision that was, yes, we can take your property for the benefit of, you know, a private entity. And we get more money if we take these people's property, tax it at a higher rate. So it's a public benefit. So we can take your property. Oh, they twist that. Well, what do you think they're going to do with health care? If they say that they've some kind of, you know, gym, mental gymnastics are going to go through to say they can and they will, they will. You know, is it delegitimize them in your mind? It should. You know, so I, I, the worse they can get, the better. What the heck? We have former U.S. spy chief says South Korea may attack North Korea. You know, without any more confidence, just, they just do it. You know, if that's what if that's what they need to maintain the empire, do what it, they're, they're just our puppets. You know, you you serve at our will. You know, at our whim. You know, so will that happen? Could could. You know, we have the Italian prime minister is warning that Israel may nuke Iran. You know, and a lot of these wiki cables, this is a lot of the stuff that they were worried about. There are conversations between the State Department amongst themselves and, uh, you know, conversations with different organizations. They'll just be out and say it. And then what was our response to it? But, you know, this kind of information coming out, they're going, they're just they're just feeling the waters out there, you know, dipping toes in, you know, you know, seeing if this Led Zeppelin will fly, you know, and it does or doesn't. Well, they, they pump enough into it. I mean, Mythbusters showed you you get the lead thin enough, you can make a lead balloon fly. So they, you know, they're doing whatever they can to get these concepts in our mind. You know, will we accept Israel nuking Iran? It, if we get behind this or we won't oppose them in any you know, substantial way or the world will get, then it'll happen. It's just psyop. It's all psyops. It's all getting you thinking in a certain way. But there are some things, you know, that we have that, you know, give me give me hope. Like we have private Dragon spacecraft's next mission could visit space station, SpaceX says. After the first successful launch and recovery of SpaceX Dragon capsule on Wednesday, December 8th, the commercial space flight company is looking forward to an ambitious future. Okay. You know, um... What's so ambitious about going to the International Space Station? <laughs> like, uh, next, let's go somewhere else. We have Bigelow Aerospace already has two, two, right there. See, look at that. Two, two private space stations in orbit right, not later. Now, been up there a year and a half, two years. They're in tens of thousands of orbits. How much do you hear about that? You hear about every weather delay for the shuttle, but you never hear there are two private space stations in orbit right now. They're ready, spaceship, to, they're going to start having hotels in space. We're going to go to the moon. This Falcon 9 that they're talking about here has moon capacity. Get it? Get it? Do you understand me? Well, you know what's the government going to have to say about that? I don't know. They don't like it none too much, I'm sure. And I bet you they're kind of leapfrog past that anyway. They got their little hypersonic one hour anywhere on the planet. We could bomb somebody from Kansas. I mean, you know, you, you know they're thinking that kind of way anyway. So we got... Uh, an article up here from the sovereignman.com, uh, six or eight best places in the world. I don't know why it's six or eight, <laughs> but you know, Simon Black recently posted six places in the world that are full of opportunity and freedom in a couple of significant ways. They coincide with mine. His picks were Chile, Singapore, Colombia, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, and Estonia. So, you know, there are places all over the world that, you know, they welcome your silver and your, your expertise and just leave you alone this. You know, is, is the battle going to be here? Should we be fighting it here? Are a lot of us freedom oriented? We just go, hey, man, I'm going to go over there. I'll tell you where the battle here in America is going to come from. It's going to come from grandfathers. You know, I mean, people that are so invested. There was a time when we first started doing the Freedom Summit that we'd have guys from New Zealand come and talk about us expatriating to New Zealand. You know, that was, you know, on my mind. I had my children and so on. Now my kids are starting to have kids. I know grandpa might be stuck here. The battle's here to free your mind. That's what I'm focusing on. We'll be right back. <laughs> 